Um, so I had a funny conversation with a female friend of mine uh, about me going to gay clubs. Now, I love gay clubs. I'm straight, but I absolutely love gay clubs. And I'll say this without any qualms, gays have the best fucking clubs and parties anywhere in the world. Like you, yeah, you can keep your visas and all that shit, but go to a gay club and they actually still dance. Weird, 2016, people fucking dancing. So she, she asked me, something I never really even paid attention to. She's like, hey, do they ever grab you? And yeah, absolutely. I go to gay clubs and I get my dick grabbed all the time, my dick and my ass all the time. Now, I used to be very, very homophobic when I was in the military specifically, and I probably would have punched somebody in the face, they pulled some shit like that. But now, and I think the last time I went to a gay club was like November, November with some friends of mine. Um, and yeah, there was a lot of grabbing, a lot of dick grabbing. And man, it's, it's weird, but man, I don't even really, like, I don't even get upset, you know? I'm like, oh, all right, man, I'm, I'm cool, I'm good. And and really, they, they like when they realize I'm straight or not into them or whatever it is, they just back off, they walk away, they keep it moving. But this, but this brought up an interesting point. Uh, a, now I, now I understand, I 100%, any straight man who doesn't understand why women feel fucking sexually violated, go to a gay club. 100% get it, like 100% understand. So it brought up the question like, am I being sexually assaulted? I'm a, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how to even look at that because it's, a un, it's always unwanted um, and they're grabbing my dick or my ass. So, but like, would I report it to the police? Like, is this something that I would feel like I need to report? Or like, it's, 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 it's a bizarre feeling as a straight man because in my head, in my heterosexual mind, sexual assault is like rape or some kind of forced sexual thing. And I understand, like, and, and again, that's subconsciously. Consciously, I fully understand that there are so many different levels of sexual assault and uh, unwanted advances, um, uh, harassment. I, I fully understand that, so don't go off on me. But subconsciously, I'm like, I, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't feel like, um, I never feel threatened in any way by these guys or anything like that, but I don't want them grabbing my dick. So. I don't know. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think? Um, yeah, man, it's really, I'm almost, I'm kind of at a loss for words because when we were talking about it, I was like, shit, I never even thought about it. I never even thought about, am I being sexually assaulted at gay clubs when I go to these gay clubs with my friends? Um, you know, um, I haven't posted much about this on the vlog, but um, I did gay pride events uh, last year with a bunch of gay friends and it was fucking all, it was great. I had an absolute blast. But man, it, I, I learned that the, the, the gay community, I don't know too much about the lesbian community because I, I, I haven't been around a lot of lesbians, but gay men, gay men are so fucking sexualized, like so, like they're cool with just going in the back of a bar and fucking and then leaving and not knowing each other's names. Like that's a thing. In the, in the gay community, that's uh, the dark room is a thing, man. And uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a uh, a vlog about the words and terms and um, and cultural things that I learned about during that gay pride experience, and it blows my mind. So yeah, um, subscribe, share, comment below, and tell me like it was I being sexually assaulted or like should I be bothered or offended or is it weird that I'm not bothered by it? So I don't know. So all right, later.